Hello everybody. Are you people thinking of taking help to prepare for CSIR net? And for that, are you people looking for any CSIR net coaching? I know. The first thing you do is Google it, the coaching centers near me. The amount of result that you get from the Google search is really overwhelming. I understand that. There'll be so many options, so many institutes, okay, some in your city, some may be in a neighboring city, some may be in the farther away city, okay. So how to choose which coaching center to go for or which will be your best bet to qualify CSRNet, who can provide you with the best help to qualify CSRNet. Well, today I am going to help you in finding out the best CSIRnet coaching for yourself. So whenever you are looking for a CSIRnet coaching center, I will suggest that you ask 10 questions. Okay. And in this video, I am going to tell you what all those 10 questions are and what in which kind of directions in kind of results also you should expect. And that's on, on the basis of which you have to decide which coaching center you have to choose. Okay, let's get started. So first question is, is it good? Is the coaching center good? Now, how do we get it? Now, in this world of internet, we get everything on our fingertips, on our laptop screen. So, yes, you can go for Google reviews. Okay. But yes, guys, just understand that reviews can be paid also. So, you have to have that understanding to differentiate between the paid reviews and the genuine reviews. Okay, so Google reviews is one set that you can look for and another uh, help that you can uh, get is from other platforms, uh, reviews from other platforms like uh, YouTube or even you can uh, take help from Just Dial or any kind of any or the social platforms as well. If you are not able to rely on these reviews completely, don't worry, go for this old method, old age method where you take feedback from the past students, okay? So you take feedback from those, the students from those institutes, somebody in your, um, uh, in, in your friends, in your previous year, seniors, if they have studied there, if they have got their, got help from there, so you ask them or you can also contact the, you can see the student testimonials and etc. in the social media and that will help you in understanding and deciding is that institute good. Next question. How are the faculties? Okay, don't just go by the reviews, all right? Don't just go by the name of the institute. Yes, that is important. But ultimately, you are going to interact with the faculty. So it is very important to understand how good are the faculties, okay? So for that, simply go to the website of that institute and usually all the good institutes, they will have the uh, the profile, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, prof the portfolio of their uh, faculties okay so check that out so what all will you look in the faculties their experience okay how much experience they have in taking csir classes okay see experiences matters right and experiences vary somebody can have industrial experience of 15 years but if that person has zero experience of teaching then that person may be very good in the industry in the in the industry okay but may not be as good a teacher in the classroom okay so look for the relevant uh, experience that the faculties have you can also look for their qualifications okay and their reputation reputation means how well they connect with the students and again for that you can take a note of the feedback from the previous students okay that which faculty is good how they 
teach, what is their teaching methodology, were they able to connect to the students, are they able to help in solving the questions or not. All right. Okay. Keep, let's keep on going and moving on to the third question. Online or offline classes. Now, this has become one of the major deciding factor nowadays. Yes, both of these classes have their each advantages and disadvantages. Yeah, offline classes are better if you are looking for the uh, old age uh, black black uh, chalk and blackboard method, old age uh, physical interaction with the teacher and student. Okay, yes, in those cases, all offline classes are good. But what about the time that you will lose in the commute to the offline classes? What about the 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 resources that you will lose in case the best coaching centers? is not present in your city don't you think in those cases online classes have an advantage that you can take the class right from the comfort of your own home you right from the comfort of your own city you don't have to travel to any other place you don't have to waste time in traveling and that time you can use in your study Right. So as I told you, yes, both online and offline classes have its own advantages and disadvantages. In online classes, somebody might feel that you are not able to connect with the teacher. OK, because you are not accustomed to these online classes. Yes, very true. It can happen. Right. So you have to ask yourself which mode you are you will be fine with. And depending on that, you can see whether the coaching center have that online or offline classes or not. But for sure, you weigh in your choices very honestly, okay, whatever you really feel, not going by any kind of pressure. Moving on, <clears throat> fourth question that you should ask is, how many students per batch? Okay, because that is very, very important in maintaining the interactive ratio, whether you are talking about online or offline classes. In online classes, if there are 75, 80 people in the same class, definitely the teacher will not be able to answer to all the students if they start asking queries, right? So it becomes very important what is the teacher is to student ratio. The ideal ratio that you should look for is around 20 to 25 students per batch okay so if that is the ratio which is maintained by the uh, the coaching center then definitely you are going to get all kind of help all kind of support from their experienced faculties now is the time to address the elephant in the room the charges Yes, I completely understand, guys, that when you are taking, when you are deciding to take a CSI net coaching, so that comes with this tag that there will be charges um, linked to it. And yes, there are benefits. You will get huge benefits in your resume, in your career by clearing CSI net. But at the same time, you have to pay quite a good amount of money for the coaching classes. And whenever that happens, our tendency is to look for the lesser valued class. But friends, remember that quality comes with a price. Yes, I know you will not want to waste a lot of your, um, maybe your stipend money or your parents money in the coaching. But guys, you cannot uh, you cannot compromise on quality over the price. Okay. So quality should be your first priority. And then only you should look for the charges. Definitely, you don't have to make a hole in your pocket to pay money to the coaching class. But look for a coaching class which comes with a quality and a budget that fits you. Now, next, we will look at the sixth question which will be the class timing 
okay see why am i addressing or why am i taking this class timing issue here because uh, majority of the cases the co the coaching centers they will have different batches okay so if the batch timing is not suiting you completely and you feel that okay it's uh, like i can stretch suppose the classes start from 6 o'clock and you you are working okay and you want to do your coaching on the side and you are you usually come from your office or from your work around 6:30 so you say okay i can get out of the work half an hour before but guys remember yes you can do this you can stretch but will you be able to do it all 6 months at least the duration of the course will you be able to do it the answer will be no okay you can do it but you will be able to do it only for a few days maybe week also okay but not after that not beyond that okay so it becomes important for you to remember that you don't have to stretch okay so it becomes important for you to remember that choose a class timing that will not make you stretch and a class timing where you are completely comfortable all right okay so seventh question what is the teaching methodology followed seventh question that you should ask the coaching center is what kind of teaching methodology followed okay see at the time of admission the coaching centers might promise you something that they do not deliver okay because all these coaching centers they will have their different Uh, groups okay they will have different teams the team that is recruiting the students may not be the one who are taking who are teaching you usually it won't be the case okay so it becomes very important for, and you are after you take admission you are not going to talk to their uh, recruitment team you are going to talk to their the teachers itself right so it becomes important for you to take a take, uh, to have an interaction with the teachers okay how can it be done it can be done with the help of live demo classes so always ask the teaching institute whether they have they can conduct some live demo classes for you or not if the facility is there do take it okay don't think that okay anyways i am taking admission i will see that later no and don't also go by the review do take this demo classes okay because every person is different one person's good experience might not be your good experience okay so yes do take demo classes interact with the teacher the, judge their intellect judge how much the teacher can help you the faculty can help you in uh, qualifying csir net and depending on that take your decision see again you are going to spend your hard earned money or hard earned money of your parents so do not compromise anywhere next question that you should ask is what about general aptitude section because all this many many uh, uh, teaching institutes are there many many coaching institutes are there they will teach you the subject matter but they barely touch the general aptitude section and you know yes general aptitude is important there are 15 questions that you have to answer from that section and you cannot leave it so you need help in there okay see those concepts are very simple maybe the concepts that you have already studied in 10th uh, standard 9th and 10th standard in school maybe but still you need help in understanding what all topics you need to focus what are the easiest or the smart ways to solve those kind of questions right so definitely you are going to take need help here so make sure that you ask the institute whether they are going to help you with the general aptitude section or not next question what all extra okay sabzi lene jate hai to bolte hai na dhaniya mirchi bhaiya thoda sa de do sath mein just like that what all extra services do they provide so what all extra things are we looking for 
mock test okay very very important for you to prepare for the exam doubt solving sessions okay is there any platform where you can send your questions whether you can send your doubts to the faculties whether they can help you in solving that or not now suppose you miss a class what then where will you get the notes of that how will you prepare that part that you missed in a in in, in a session okay yes so do they provide recorded lectures or not and this becomes essential when you are talking for online classes why because in online classes you don't know who are all your peers who are all your classmates so if you lose something you don't know where to reach for for that content for that material of that class right so recording whether the class recordings are there are there or not whether it will be provided to you or not that kind of thing you need to ask study materials where the simplified matter will be there that will help you in preparing better so whether they provide it or not whether they have the e book of standard uh, the library e book library or the regular offline classes if you are going for so whether the institute have a library of the good latest edition uh, uh, the standard reference books or not because some see the topics that you are aware of yes you can go and study with the study material but the things that you don't know and you are studying it for the first time in that case you have to refer to the standard books and you should not spend a single more, more penny in buying any format the standard books because you are already paying it to the institute okay so it becomes the institute responsibility to provide you with every help that you uh, that will help you in qualifying exam so do ask whether they have this library whether they have the collection of the standard reference books of the subject matters or not and last question okay what about post exam assistance okay many 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 institutes okay they will say we will help you we will will finish the syllabus everything but what after that suppose you qualify your exam okay you qualify the but then you have to appear you qualify your jrf you have to appear for viva you have to appear for interviews so who will help whether the institute is going to help you with how to apply for your fellowship what will be what kind of interview preparation what kind of questions that you should prepare for your interview whether they will also help you in preparing your sops okay so you have to look for all this kind of helps because that kind of uh, comprises everything or that kind of compiles everything that you will need in this uh in the in the coaching classes to help you qualify csir and beyond that so these are all the sets of questions set of 10 questions that you should always ask the coaching centers wherever you whichever you are considering for your coaching option csir net coaching okay and one biggest help that you can get is by enrolling in with biotechnica see i'm not asking you that you enroll with biotechnica but i'm telling you that these are all of these questions okay if you agree that yes these are valid questions and the coaching center should provide it then biotechnica is your one stop because we provide each and everything that i have mentioned here and beyond that okay we also see this extra right so with the extra we along with all these things we also provide you with the notes that help you in revise faster and retain better we also help you in providing it uh, providing you with the entire conceptica series which has the summaries which has the tables which has the flow charts okay colorful beautiful flow charts that will help you in understanding the concept and also remembering them we have an entire collection of tough net questions which comprises of all the part c questions of light last 5 to 7 years compiled in a single book and everything will be provided at your fingertip when you enroll with us but still guys you take your own decision whichever coaching institute you take doesn't matter this 10 questions you should ask and when you get a satisfactory 
factory answer about all these 10 questions, then only spend your hard earned money in that institute. I hope this helps you in choosing the best choice for you. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.